Let's get straight to Pauline Hanson, who joins us now in our Canberra studio. Senator, good evening. How you been? Hello, Paul. Very good. Yeah, great. First, thanks. F first things first, um, did it surprise you that the government voted with you yesterday? Um, I didn't know what to expect, honestly. But when they came in, they sat on the, um, on the right side of the chamber. I thought, wow, OK. Um, and then, you know, it's, it's all gone high wire. Now, let's actually show everyone the actual motion that you put to the Parliament, because a lot of focus is on the second part of it. But once again, here is the actual wording that the Parliament debated and voted on yesterday. That it was to note the deplorable rise of anti-white racism and attacks on Western civilisation, and that it was OK to be white. Let's deal with the second bit later. But give me an example. What is the sort of thing you mean about anti-white racism? There was a case of a, a fifth-generation Australian woman, white, who actually wanted to take a child through a friend, a Russian friend, to take the child to the um, childcare centre. She went to the centre. Anyway, as soon as she got there, they said, um, can we help you? She said, well, I'm here to uh, put my child in. She said, I'm sorry, you can't. This is only for multicultural um, people. You're not entitled to put your child here. So they told her she had to leave. She was actually disturbed by that. She stood her ground. And uh, this child said... Child Care Centre had been contacted since and they actually had to accept the child. So, you know, that is unacceptable. You've actually got people putting out posts, you know, um, cranky old white men um, having a go at them. I'm having a lot of men that are actually saying, young men who are saying they, they feel discriminated against. And I feel, and they also feel that they're actually being discriminated against when it actually goes to jobs, especially in government jobs, and, um, and that's a problem as well. And let's deal with the second bit here, because I do love the people who've tried to pretend that you've clicked and dragged this from the darkest parts of the right wing uh, in the United States. Uh, how did you come up with the form of words and what did you mean by it's OK to be white? Well, you know, I said um, my policy, Paul, is... Um, you know, you don't have to be white to be Australian. And I feel that because of this anti-racism that against white people that is actually happening, you know, racism against whites, that is happening in our society, and we have people who are these, um, what can I say, they're supposed to be the intelligence um, uh, people in our society who are actually teaching this hatred towards white privilege. And I am sick and tired of hearing it, as Dean Natale expressed on the floor of Parliament yesterday. And, um, you know, it's, it's a saying is, as I've said, you know, everyone is, has a right, whether you're black, you're white, you're brindle, we should all be treated equally and the same. And I'll go back and I said that right from day dot. Prior to my election in 1996, I called for equality for all Australians, and I'm sick of hearing the inequalities in our system. It happens in our judicial system. They seem to get lenience because they're actually of, of a, a black or they're a different colour. They're not white. And people of Australia are fed up with it. You know, we're supposed to be tolerant of other ethnic races that come to our country, but we're, they're not tolerant of... Um, of the, the Australians in our society. We hear of what's happening to white South Africans, and yet where are the Greens? Where is a Hinch standing up for them, opposing what's happening to them? We have to stand up, and I oppose any racism of any type. And as I said to the media today and everyone, I challenge anyone, anyone, to put up anything of, uh, that's uh, linked to racism that I have ever said over the years. And that is not me, and I don't stand for it. And you can go back to our policy, immigration policy. It's non-discriminatory. And I welcome people from all over the world that's come here. But I'm sick and tired of people now thinking to put, put us down as a Western civilization that we have to uh, um, um, apologise for what's happened or what happened in Australia. And we came here, you know, from the, um, the British that came here and Captain Cook founded it and the, and the settlement and colonisation of this country. Well, I'm fed up with it. I'm sick and tired of it. So I'm making my stance and saying it's OK to be white. And, Senator, what does it say that uh, the government backtracks as it did today because they're uh, concerned about all of the obvious uh, backlash that comes when you say things like this, but also that their basic admission was uh, they don't pay attention to what's happening in the parliament. If they disagreed with what you said, then any one of those senators had the right to cross the floor, yet they didn't. They just followed orders and sat where they thought they were supposed to sit. 
Well, that's true with all legislation. They follow the line of the government, how they should vote on legislation. That's true. But the whole fact is, why they back down on it, in my opinion, they are weak. Absolutely pathetic, absolutely weak. They were goaded into it. They were spooked by the Labor Party and saying, how can you align yourself? This is racism. And saying, saying, this is not racism. This is actually standing up for the fact is that we support Western civilization. We do not support uh, anti racism against whites or racism against whites in this country and we yes what is wrong with it we are it's okay to be white there is nothing racist in it whatsoever and they have now tried to turn it to say that i'm associated with the supremacists in um you know in with the ku klux klan or the neo-nazis and what a load of bloody bunkum and rubbish that is and i stand my ground with it and it's a pity there wasn't some true leadership in the liberal party to actually say to the liberal to the labor party you know you've got this wrong mate you know so we're sticking up for this there's nothing wrong about it this is going to be a big backlash against the against the Liberal Party for changing their vote on this because they should have stood their ground there is nothing racist about it and it's and um, the people of Australia will not be too happy about it and just finally they put you in the penalty box today because you had another motion but this is one that you would have thought on the same day they're talking about moving the uh, Australian <laughs> uh, Embassy to Jerusalem that they would want to back in I'll read to everyone what didn't even get out of first gear today in the Parliament, which was that uh, leader of uh, uh, Pauline Hanson's One Nation, Senator Hanson, to move that, quote, the Senate is of the opinion that anti-Semitism should be defined, as it is by the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance, as a certain perception of Jews, which may be expressed as A, hatred towards Jews, B, rhetorical and physical manifestations of anti-Semitism directed toward, one, Jewish or non-Jewish individuals or their property, and two, Jewish community organisations and religious facilities. Denied. Wasn't even able to be voted on today. That's right. And that was by the Liberal Party, not the Labor Party, by the Liberal Party, and I was absolutely shocked by that. In the, in the Wentworth by-election, you've got about 18% Jews in that, that electorate. All they're asking for is, this was brought in the UK, they're asking for the same here. I don't see any problem with it whatsoever. They wouldn't let it get up off the ground. And they've, they've just shot themselves in the foot again. I don't know who's, who's taken over control of the Senate and who's actually advising, but I tell you what, they're actually... Uh, heading for the back door out of this parliament after the next after this next election because it's stupid what they're doing. They're not listening to people. What I'm trying to do, and I spoke to David Adler today. Um, he's um, yeah, president or a second high up in the, in the Jewish community and he spoke to me about this and uh, he just happened to be in the parliament today. And, you know, very pleased that we're actually doing that. I have no problem supporting anyone. Um, if you, you present a decent case to me and they are so pleased to actually have that definition, but the Liberal would not allow it to happen. Crazy stuff. Thank you so much, Senator. We'll keep talking and we'll talk to you in longer form a little bit later down the track. Good on you, mate. Thanks, Paul. Senator Bye. Senator Pauline Hanson there in our Canberra studio.